Look at this comet. Recently, it's erupted four times in less than 48 hours and has become nearly 300 times brighter than normal. This is the most powerful set of eruptions the comet has had in over three years. Should we worry here on Earth? Well, I wouldn't say scientists are worried. They're super excited. First, let me give you a little background. 29P is what astronomers call a centaur comet. Those are icy objects that orbit the Sun in the space between Jupiter and Neptune. What's interesting about centaurs is that they're kind of like cosmic hybrids because they're moving from one kind of space body to another. They start their life as far out objects in a lifeless, freezing cold zone beyond Neptune. But then, over a few million years, they move inward toward the Sun because the planets of the solar system affect them with their gravity. Eventually, they turn into short period comets. This term means they can pass close to the Sun and then slingshot back out into those icy regions. Centaurs, and their name indeed comes from a hybrid half-horse, half-human creature popular in Greek mythology, are especially interesting because they're basically leftovers from the formation of our solar system, kind of like cosmic fossils. Since they've been hanging out in the frigid outer solar system for so long, they've kept a lot of the volatile materials that were present when the solar system was first forming. This makes them a valuable clue in understanding how our solar system evolved. That's what makes scientists so enthusiastic. Now, about 29P itself, this thing is huge for a comet. It's about 37 miles across, which is almost three times the length of Manhattan. Now, worry not, it's too far away to cause us any harm. While it's one of up to 1,000 known centaurs, 29P is also in a rarer group of comets called cryovolcanic comets. Those are a fascinating class of space objects that have unique geological activity. The thing is, cryovolcanic comets not only contain a unique mix of ice, dust, and rock, but also feature cryovolcanoes, aka cold volcanoes. They erupt with volatile materials like water, ammonia, or methane instead of molten rock. As for regular comets, when they approach the sun, the heat from the star evaporates their gases, leading to the emissions of dust and tiny particles, electrons, and ions. These materials create those magnificent trails. These eruptions are incredibly spectacular and make the comet appear a lot brighter since the cloud of cryomagma reflects the sun's light. The cloud that forms around the comet is called the coma, and it can grow so large and bright that it makes the comet look like a fuzzy ball of light. If you've ever observed a comet, the coma is the halo you see around it. Such eruptions are pretty unpredictable. While most cryovolcanic comets follow elliptical orbits that take them far out into the solar system, 29P is on a more circular orbit, staying around the same distance from the Sun as Jupiter. You'd think that this would mean its eruptions would be more regular, but that's not the case at all. In fact, 29P erupts in a completely random and unpredictable way. And scientists are still trying to figure out why. The latest outbursts started on November 2nd, 2024, when 29P erupted for the first time in almost two years. This was followed by three more large eruptions in less than 48 hours, which really got the attention of astronomers at the British Astronomical Association. They'd been tracking 29P for a while, and they reported that the eruptions sent out a cloud of debris reflecting about 289 times more light than the comet's nucleus which is a huge increase in brightness. Astronomers are expecting that the coma, which is growing after each eruption, could take on an unusual shape. The multiple outbursts might cause the coma to expand in a weird, irregular way. This is especially interesting because 29P hasn't had a major eruption like this since November 2022. Then it threw out over 1 million tons of debris. The last time it had a massive outburst was in September 2021, when the comet had multiple eruptions in quick succession. In addition to the confusion about its eruptions, 29P is pretty different from most other comets. Most comets have elliptical orbits that take them far out into the solar system, 
They spend decades, centuries, or even thousands of years far from the sun, only to erupt when they get close. But 29P doesn't do that. No, it orbits the sun once every 15 years and stays at about the same distance as Jupiter. This strange behavior makes astronomers even more eager to figure out what's going on with it. Another cool thing about 29P is that it doesn't ever get close enough to the sun to grow a tail like other famous comets, such as the once-in-a-century comet Su Chinsen Atlas, which has recently made headlines. It passed the closest to Earth in 80,000 years. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has been keeping an eye on 29P, helping solve some of the mysteries about the comet. And it has recently made another groundbreaking discovery. It has detected jets of CO2, good old carbon dioxide, coming from the comet. This was the first ever detection of CO2 jets on this particular comet. Webb has also discovered a jet of carbon monoxide coming from the comet. It can tell us a lot about the composition of the comet and its outbursts. What's especially interesting is that the jets seem to come from different parts of 29P's nucleus. Even though Webb can't actually figure out the nucleus itself because it's too small to see in detail, the jets coming from different locations on the comet's surface suggest that the nucleus may be made up of multiple objects. These objects might have different compositions, and it's possible that the nucleus is more of a composite body made up of smaller chunks that came together over time. Strangely, astronomers haven't detected any water vapor in the comet's atmosphere. That's unusual because the atmospheres of most comets often contain water. Our comet might lack water vapor due to the extremely cold temperatures on its surface. It could prevent water from evaporating or vaporizing. 29P isn't the only thing that Webb is studying. The telescope has also been making some big discoveries about galaxies far, far away. For example, Webb has recently spotted a galaxy with a pretty complicated name which appeared about 1 billion years after the Big Bang. What's super weird about this galaxy is that the gas in it is shining brighter than the stars, which is really rare. This could be a missing link phase in the evolution of galaxies, something that could help astronomers understand how galaxies transition from the very first stars, called population three stars, to the types of galaxies we see today. The stars in this galaxy are much hotter than we see in modern galaxies in local universe, around 144,000 degrees Fahrenheit compared to the typical 72,000 to 90,000 degree Fahrenheit of stars today. This could mean that the galaxy is in the middle of a super brief but intense phase of star formation, where huge, hot stars are popping up in a dense gas cloud. And this gas cloud is glowing so brightly because it's being hit with tons of light from these stars. The research team behind this discovery says that although the galaxy doesn't have population three stars, because the data shows it has too much chemical complexity, it still could be a guide for understanding how galaxies evolved, from the first stars to the galaxies we're familiar with today. There are still so many questions about this galaxy. Is it a rare phase? Or is it something that happens often in the early stages of galaxy formation? Astronomers are hoping to study more galaxies like this one to figure it out. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.